So this question is a diagram question. I say that about any question that provides some visual input. So um, it looks like we have parallel lines here at S and T with a transversal here at line C. I'm going to read just to make sure that's the case. Um, in the figure shown, line C intersects parallel lines S and T, so I am correct. What is the value of X? So whenever you have parallel lines and a transversal, you always end up with some angle um, measurement relationships. So one of these relationships here, and this is not really the one I'm going to show you first, is not based upon anything with parallel, but this angle here is going to be congruent to this angle here, and that's because of something called vertical angles. And I can honestly find the answer from there because now given um, that these two lines are parallel and that they are th these two angles are to the left of this transversal, this is something that we call same side interior angles. That should make sense. They're both on the same side, right, to the left of the transversal. And they're both interior to the parallel lines, right? These are our parallel lines. These two angles are inside. So that's why they're called same side interior angles. And same side interior angles are supplementary. So that should sound familiar from geometry class. If not, it's a little bit of review for your notes. So same side interior angles are supplementary, which means if we have 110 degrees here, this X must be 70 degrees um, because, again, supplementary actually means equals to 180 degrees. Okay, so our answer here would be 70 for the value of X.